Good morning, everybody. I hope you have all had a very good week and I hope you have all been connecting with nature as part of our Mental Health Awareness Week. Thank you to everybody who responded to my request on Monday to send in photos of bluebells. So let's start off. We have two from Mrs. Camp and she went on a walk with her mum and she took these lovely photographs. So thank you. Bluebell woods at the moment are wonderful and they're still hanging on in there. You've probably got this weekend, maybe one more week of bluebells. Now, Senior, Senor Castro sent us a couple of photos of his uh, walk to work. Let's have a look. That's a beautiful one. That's the lower gardens. They're looking wonderful at the moment. And what else did he spot? Lovely shot of some nice green foliage there. And look, a dog driving to work. So uh, that's what he spotted on his way to school. And um, the lower gardens, actually, we've had some great trips. Mrs. Luke has taken her biologist down to Koi Pond for some water sampling. And I know Mrs. Newcomb took her whole form down for a nature ramble as part of Connecting with Nature Mental Health Awareness Week. So well done, Mrs. Newcomb, and that's great. Now, Celia captured, she, she's, I think she's really zoomed in, but can you see there's a little young deer in the Bluebell Woods? I love that photo, Celia. That's Celia in Upper Three. So thank you very much for sending that in. I thought it was beautiful and well captured. What a super shot. And Eleanor George sent in some truly stunning photographs. Look at that, of the swans there. I think that's Hengus I think I can see, possibly. Um, but this, now, she said her father showed her how to take a long exposure shot and she caught that spray um, and that wind of the sort of sand whipping up on the beach. So thank you, Ellen. Those, those are really, really lovely sort of things that you might see on a wildlife calendar. So please keep sending those photographs in. But clip of the week goes to Mrs. O'Shea. Guess what she saw walking up her driveway? How exciting is that? A badger in daylight walking up your driveway. I, I can tell some teenagers don't find it that exciting, but I do. And when you're older, you'll understand. That is fantastic. Seeing a badger walk up your driveway. Thank you, Mrs. O'Shea. You win clip of the week with that, with that shot. Now we've got some congratulations this morning. We want to start by saying congratulations to Imogen in upper three. So Imogen is a very strong golfer and she won the Doug Sewell Bowl Golf Competition at the weekend, despite only being 11 years old. What an amazing achievement. Can we say well done to Imogen? Well done. <laughs> Have some tennis congratulations. I think we've got a photograph. Uh, congratulations to the under 13 and the under 15 tennis teams who won their first match of the season against Way Valley 6 Love and 6 1, respectively. And I think we've got Aberdeer teams there as well who've been going forward and playing really well, A teams and B teams. Can we congratulate them? Well done, tennis players. <laughs> and I was listening to the radio this morning, and who was I listening to? Let's have a look at the photograph. We have BBC Radio Solent, they were there, and I think they were also on a Zoom, live Zoom call, and this was Emily, Lola, Nancy, and Bonnie, and they were talking about their marathon walk for myeloma research, so they're doing a fantastic charity walk. Uh, they are walking tomorrow 26 miles along the Jurassic Coast, up and down, so it's going to be feel far, far further than just they have raised an amazing £3,000 for this so far. They're hoping to get to four. So if you haven't yet donated uh, and supported them, you can go to their Just Giving site and it's on our school website and on our social media as well. But can I say it was wonderful listening to you speak with such passion about it and you're doing this for such a worthy cause. So can we give them all, wish them the very best of luck and say well done, well done girls. We're all right behind you. 
Now, um, your form tutors in senior school will have gone through a whole raft of changes that are taking place on Monday because we're entering the next phase of lockdown easing. Um, and it's very important that you digest those um, changes. The parents are going to be sent a letter as well. Pupils, you've got a letter that you can check. Staff have letters too. So hopefully we'll have a very smooth transition on Monday. There is no room for complacency. Uh, we've got to keep those really high levels of infection control up, up um, but we are taking the kind of steps. So thank you to the staff and please, please, pupils, take on board everything in those letters and we're going to follow those new changes on Monday. So we go over now to Reverend Burke for our prayer. Are you there, Jonathan? Indeed I am, and inspired really by those marathon walkers of Talbot Heath, Emily, Lola, Nancy and Bonnie, here is today's prayer. Encouraged, O Lord, by our marathon walkers' desire to turn deep sadness into something positive, may we all look for opportunities to show our concern for transforming this world in which we live. We are this is now. Amen. Absolutely. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone, and have a great birthday, Francis. Bye.